welcome to today's lecture today we will be studying about the second part of duodenum the second part of duodenum is 7.5 cm long or 3 inches long it is developed from two sources up to the opening of the common bile duct it is developed from the foregut below the opening of the common bile duct it is developed from the midgut the second part of duodenum is retroperitoneal and it is fixed its anterior surface is directly covered by peritoneum except in the middle where it is related directly by the colon common hepatopancreatic duct which is formed by the union of bile duct as well as the main pancreatic duct opens into the major duodenal papillae which is present in the second part of duodenum the accessory pancreatic duct opens into the minor duodenal papillae which is present in the second part of duodenum so this is the second part of duodenum it is 7.5 cm long so it begins at the superior duodenal flexure and passes downwards in front of the medial part of the right kidney it extends from l1 up to the lower border of l3 where it curves towards the left that is at the inferior duodenal flexure to become continuous with the third part in this picture what you can see is so this is the liver this is the transverse colon this is the ascending colon this is the duodenum then here what i am having is the jejunum then this is the green color structure what you are seeing is the gall bladder so coming to the relations anteriorly you are having the fundus as well as the body of the gall bladder then you are having the right lobe of the liver also you are having the transverse colon so this is entire thing is a transverse colon and this bluish color what, what is there that is the transverse mesocolon and also few coils of the jejunum then coming to the lateral relations so this is the second part of duodenum so the lateral relations from below upwards you are having the ascending colon then you are having the right colic flexure that is the bend which it, which, which it is taking then you are having the right lobe of the liver in this picture what you can see so this is the right kidney right suprarenal gland this is the second part of duodenum this is a sauce major muscle of right side then this is the inferior vena cava this is the aorta so now coming to the posterior relation you are having anterior surface of the right kidney near the medial border only this portion which is close to the medial border then you are having the right renal vessels so these are the right renal vessels then pelvis of the right ureter which you are not able to see in this diagram then you are having the right edge of inferior vena cava so this entire thing is inferior vena cava whereas only the right edge of the inferior vena cava then the right sauce major muscle then also the right suprarenal gland so these are the posterior relations in this picture you are seeing this is the duodenum this is the pancreas so this is the second part of duodenum so this is the medial part so medially you are seeing the head of the pancreas so this is the head of the pancreas then the anastomosis so these are the arteries so anastomosis between the superior and inferior pancreatico duodenal arteries in the medial relation you will also see the bile duct then the main pancreatic duct as well as the accessory pancreatic duct related to the interior of duodenum 
we will be studying in the coming classes the second part of duodenum is most protected from external injury because it lies in the paravertebral gutter which is the deeper plane compared to the forward curvature of the vertebral column secondly due to more proximity of the gallbladder with the second part of duodenum there can be erosion of the wall of the duodenum due to gallstones leading to the entry of gallstones into the duodenum thank you for watching